Hey guys, I'll just show you here, it's a very sunny day, very very sunny, there's only a couple of clouds around, the weather's getting warm now, it's about 28 degrees, and this is one of our systems here, this is our NFT system here, and you can see all the plants are growing really really well, in the bottom row we've got Kong Kong, the next one here you can see, these are all uh, basil, and along here we've got, this is a lettuce, there's a lettuce up the end, basil, Mixing basil with other plants is very good. It keeps a lot of insects away because it's got a strong smell. Along here, these are all bok choy. You see they go from small right to the, the end here. Up the top, guys, this is all kale. There's a mixture of lettuce in between. So the kale has grown really well now. The weather's warming up here. So now it's 28. Oh, it feels maybe 29. But within a couple of weeks, it'll be up over 30, you know, and uh, these plants will be loving it. This is all up next to the plum, the, uh, uh, the hydroponic plum, but you can, we're going to harvest now this kale now. So uh, what we're going to do, we're just going to take some leaves and leave the bottom and they'll just keep growing up and up along here. They'll just keep growing up. So we're going to take some kale now and uh, we, uh, and, uh, you know, get a meal out of them. Yeah. You can see here he's just cutting all the leaves off and the sand will just keep growing. So you get a fair few meals out of a plant. Just get to this back plant here. So maybe as they grow up we might need to string them up. But uh, yeah, they're growing really, really well. So just harvesting a little bit of lettuce lunches and things like that yeah very soon we'll end up getting so much food here it's uh, it's incredible we do it every year and uh, plants just keep getting growing better and better the nutrition keeps getting better and uh, some plants we mix a different nutrition for different types of plants but, uh, yeah as you can see here so just harvesting now you can see these are a, a Tuscan black kale. Most of the plants here we all grow from seed, and from seed germinating from start to finish up to harvest. But, uh, yeah. These here. Getting a nice selection here. So we'll do us a couple of meals. And uh, yeah, they're very, very happy in here. These pipes here, that's all running on solar power. These pipes are 90 mil and they're perfect for all these sorts of vegetables. Uh, things like tomatoes and celery, uh, you can't, they do clog the pipe. Even if you had a 100 mil pipe, they'll clog them. But uh, yeah. This system here, I think it's holding about uh, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, about ten by there's sixty holes we got here. So we got a lot out of this here. Now we're just taking some more lettuce. Take some more kale. You see the lettuce here is going well. Yeah, you're getting a nice harvest today, guys. The leaves are growing quite long now, which is very, very happy. And you can see they're all curling up. Kale's one of those very nutritious vegetables, you know, that's very, very good and healthy for you. Take those leaves here. Take that rubbish one off there. Yeah. Let's take a bit more lettuce. Sandwiches. There you go, guys. Let's get a bit more. Let us while we're here. Yeah. 
Yeah, very nutritious. These lettuce are not, not bitter at all. They taste very good. As long as your nutrients are right. Um, but you can see here we can grow different varieties of plants uh, all together. Some people believe you can't because each plant has a different nutrition. But the, my thinking that the plant will take up this nutrition that it needs and what it don't need it won't take. So to me there's no problem in mixing them as you can see here. And we do it all the time, all different vegetables. It's, uh, like lettuce normally has a P PPM at uh, 800, but the others can go right up to 1500. Um, and we're just putting them all together here. And uh, yeah, so there you go, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, wait a sec, guys, I'll just show you here. This is our harvest here. So there's a whole load there. Let's pick this up so you can see. There you go, you guys. You've done really well. Okay, thanks for watching. Hey guys, today we're going to harvest the uh, bok choy here. Now you can hear the bird in the background. Yeah, so uh, we've been harvesting the uh, kale, and today we're harvesting the uh, bok choy. You see the big one on the end here. You see how clean the roots are here? They're nice and clean and white. Um, yeah, so we're going to harvest today, so this one here, this will be tonight's dinner, it's looking pretty good. It's a little bit of a clean up around the bottom here, and uh, yeah, looking good. So guys, yeah, we put all different plants in the system here, as you know, we've got lettuce, we've got um, kale, and bok choy, and now uh, we've got some basil. So we're just taking the bok choy today. But um, yeah, to stop the bitterness, what you can do, guys, if you've got the same plants in the same system you're going to harvest all, you can drop down the, the PPM a couple of days before uh, you harvest. But if you've got it in a system like this, what you can do, if it is bitter, you can put the plants just in fresh water for a couple of days before you, uh, before you eat them. And... That will allow all the bitterness to go out. So yeah, guarantee it'll be uh, uh, bitter. Won't have any bitterness to it. And um, yeah, so you can see here, but they do come out. So yeah, just moving these ones up. So yeah, the smaller ones will leave till next time. I just take a couple of the big ones. Move them up a level, and you can see the lettuce is going in there well. Let me just a little bit here. Along here, this one's a baby bok choy here. And these ones here. Yeah, there's a couple of bok choys up the end here. They grow pretty quick too. Um, full harvest in about how many Next days? Week. Uh, what, what? How many days from small plant to harvest? You think? Twenty-five days, yeah. So yeah, you see the cows growing well. Excellent. We'll have some beans here. This is all in cocoa peat, and uh, you can see the flowers already in there. Yeah. So there's all beans coming in here. These are all dwarf beans, which we've shown you last time. And uh, yeah, they're growing really, really well. Leftover nutrients from the other systems. So quite happy there. Hey guys, this is advice on um, taking out the bitterness. So we've got a bucket here. We're just filling up with just fresh water from the tap. So you can see we got some water in there, and now we put the plants in like this. Just let them drink fresh water for a couple of days. Clean the leaves off a bit. There you go, guys.
Yes, yeah, so a couple of days like that, and we'll take out the bitterness, and I'll be all ready to go.